hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys i'm going to show you and teach you how to use um, if statements in c programming language so i think from the previous video we have like touched the basic usage of if statement so we have tried if statement with the logical operators so the and the um, relational operators the you know greater than less than or less than or equal to and other relational operators okay but in this particular video guys i'm going to go deeper with the if statement and how we can apply um, if statement in our c program and of course guys i want to show you the practical approach on how to uh, how you can implement if statement in a c program so basically guys, um, if statements in C is used to control the program flow based on some conditions. So it is used to execute some statement code block if the expression is evaluated to true. So otherwise, uh, it will get skipped and we will try to uh, implement a simple or basic program um, utilizing the if statement so actually guys there are four different types of if statement in C so these are you know simple if statement we also have if else statement we also have nested if else statement and we also have else if ladder in C programming language but for now let's just focus on the simple if statement so basically the structure of if statement is just like this so we have this particular format or basic format of if statement in c we have if keyword and then open and close parenthesis and then inside of this open and close parenthesis is the test expression okay or the condition and then of course uh, we should you know uh, add curly braces open and close curly braces and then of course the statement to execute whenever the test expression or condition is met or in this particular case if this particular condition is evaluated into true okay so now let's try to implement a practical approach of an if statement so say for example you are developing a program or a software for a particular bar okay and then that particular bar only accepts customers that are over 18 years old and those customers that are below 18 years old are, are not allowed to enter the establishment or the bar itself and we can create a very simple program for that and our program will accept the age of the customer and then it will evaluate the age and it will display a message based on that particular age so the first thing that we're going to declare here is the variable age which has the type of int and of course we need to display something on to the screen that says uh, to input a number that pertains to the age of the um, customer so in order for us to do that we need to use the method printf and then in here we can say enter the customers the customer or enter the age of the customer okay then we can add colon and then space so we can have like the space for our um, input age now we have this output and we need something to uh, accept a number from our user so we can use the method i think we already used this before the scan f right so in here we need to specify the format specifier for our age which is um uh percent d which uh, which pertains to the values that are of type in okay and then of course uh, after this we need to add the comma and of course the variable age 
and of course you need to end this line with a semicolon but the proper way of doing this is to add an ampersand ampersand symbol okay so basically what we're doing here is just we're getting the address of age and assigned value of that particular address uh, using the value that has been inputted by the user okay and of course we can now apply our if statement with this particular age so the first thing that we're going to check if the age is greater than 18 okay so we can just copy and paste this age variable and then we can add the um, logical operator greater than so basically what we're doing here is to check if the age is greater than 18 okay so there you go and then of course the statements statements to execute if condition is true okay so basically what we can do here is to print um, the age the age is greater than 18 okay and basically it uh, it says or it means that the customer can enter the premises or the bar itself okay and of course we can also check if um, the user or the age of the customer is equal to 18 okay we could also check that by using the logical operator or the relational operator equals and uh, equal equal symbol so this is just um, testing the age if it is equal to the value 18 so the first one is we're testing the value age if it is greater than 18 and the second one if it is equal to 18 and then of course we need to uh, display the corresponding uh, output so the age is equal to 18 okay and then of course we can add another one for this so we can just copy and paste for this one we need to check if the age is less than 18 so this is another logical operator that we have discussed from the previous videos okay so greater than equal and then of course less than uh, 18 and of course we can output here like minor is not allowed okay that's because the age of the customer is less than 18 and the general rule when it comes to bar is minors are not allowed so basically what we're doing here is very simple program for that particular bar okay now we can try to run our program we can just you know um, build okay and then we can run our program and we have we can enter the age of the customer so for example the age of the customer is 18 so the age is equal to 18 okay so as you can see this is the only um, output or this uh, this is the only statement that has been executed the age equal to 18 because the other one uh, the other condition is not being met or not evaluated to true okay because uh, the age is equal to 18 and of course this is um, greater than 18 and of course this is less than 18 so we can try another one so for example the age is um, 19 so the age is greater than 18 and of course again this is the only uh, statement that has been executed because it uh, the condition evaluated to true this is evaluated to false because the age is not equal to 18 and this one is evaluated to false also because uh, the age is not less than 18 okay so 
you can try this one more time to check for the for example the age of the customer is 16 so the output is the minor is not allowed okay that's the practical way of using if statement in C programming language. So I think that's all there is to it guys for this video and in the next video we're going to upgrade our program and to include the L statement for this particular program. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.